What's up everyone? This is Kevin from Happy Unboxings and Reviews and today I am totally pumped about this unboxing. I am unboxing a brand new toy of mine, the Onkyo HTS 9800THX. It's a 7.1 surround sound system and I am super excited about this one. But before we open this up, I know some of you love to see what the box actually looks like so let's give you a close up and see what exactly is on the outside of this box. We purchased this from PC Richards and Son and we actually bought it from their website. I believe at the time that we bought this it was actually a pricing error. It was listed at $9.99 and everywhere else had it listed at $12.99. And shortly after our purchase I did notice that PC Richards and Son did raise the price up to the $12.99 price point. This was shipped and delivered by UPS and this box is extremely heavy. Our UPS guy did have to bring this up to the house on a dolly and was also kind enough to help us wheel it into the house. And it did take a little bit of effort for my wife and I to get it down into our basement, but we did get it done and here it is. Let's give you guys a close up of the box. Again, this is a 7.1 system. Here's a picture of all the included components. And this is a THX certified system. give you a look on the side you can see that is where the shipping label was and there is a nice diagram down here of the back of the receiver the back side of the box is the same thing it just has a picture of the system and on this side are some more visuals of what is inside All right, let's do this. I am so excited right now. I am pumped to see what is inside. I'm trying to figure out what is the best way to open this up, but I'm going to start off by seeing what it looks like opening the top up. And I imagine what I'm going to do, just so you guys can see everything, is cutting this box open. Tilt this box in and give you guys a visual of how this is packed. So at the top, we have what looks like our antenna, we have our remote control, and it is very well packed with a lot of styrofoam. So despite some of the dents that you saw in the front of the box, I can't imagine anything is damaged. Not quite sure what the best way is to take everything out. So I'm just going to go at it and I'm going to try to pour everything out and put it in front to let you guys see. And if I have to shift things around, I definitely will do so and try to give you guys the best angle. So I'm going to go ahead and first pull this top thing out. And it was actually pretty easy using these straps. Pull it right out. Alright, I'm going to cut this open now. And start taking out what looks like to be the receiver. Alright, so in this bag we have a number of things. I'm going to take it all out for you. And let you all have a better view. So we have the remote control. Here's a close up of what the remote control looks like. It does require two AAA batteries. So the remote. Here's a close-up of this device. Also included in this bag is the radio antenna. Now what is this thing? Looks to be some kind of adapter and also looks to be some kind of antenna I believe. Give you a close-up of what this looks like. 
In this bag, we also have our two AAA batteries for your remote, product registration, some Chromecast information, quick start guide, what's included in the package, and the basic manual, and some marketing material. I right, brought the camera in a little bit closer and we're going to open up the receiver and see what this receiver looks like. There you go. That's just some styrofoam right there. Here's the front. And here's the back. So that's the receiver and some of the accessories that came with it. Let's get on with the speakers. Included are a bunch of wires to connect the speakers to the receiver. And it all looks to be color coordinated as well, too. I just tried lifting the next piece out, and it's extremely heavy. And I think at this point, what I'm going to do is actually cut down the size of the box and just fold it open, and we'll take it out that way. Well, that explains why this next piece was so heavy, because it looks like... There's at least three different speakers up top and a couple of speakers on the bottom. So let's lift off this top one and see what is up here. Let's cut these cords or straps. Get out this styrofoam piece. Now we have the straps cut and the styrofoam removed, I believe we can start moving everything a lot easier. There we go. This looks to be the center channel speaker. That's a beautiful looking speaker. I know speakers have to sound good to really be good speakers, but at least this is nice to look at. And here's a close up of the center channel speaker. This is the front. And here is the back. Now the other four speakers up here are satellite speakers. And they're all the same. So I'm just gonna, for the sake of time, take out one of these, unpack that, and give you a close up. I'll open the rest of these up on my own time. Everything's very well packed. Protecting both the finish as well as the speaker itself. So this is one of the satellite speakers. Again, this is a 7.1 system. So these four speakers will be used for your back right, back left, and your side left and side right. I'm actually holding it upside down. So this is a speaker. I'll give you guys a close-up of this as well, too. Here's the back. Let me see if I can take off the screen. And this is what the actual speaker looks like behind the mesh. So we have our receiver unboxed, we've taken out the center speaker, we've taken out the four satellite speakers, we have taken out the accessories. Now what's remaining are the le front left, front right, and the subwoofer. So let's take a look and see what those look like. Subwoofer is huge. 
So we're going to save that for last and we're going to first open up the front left and front right speakers. Again, everything is wrapped up individually in plastic as well as wrapped with some kind of thin styrofoam to protect the speakers. This thing is very well packed. And I imagine even if it was sh shaking pretty hard during the transport, the packaging should have saved any kind of damage to the speakers and to any components within this system. These speakers have some serious weight to them. And again, this is either the front left or the front right speaker. I'll give you guys a close up. And the back. And let me take off this mesh for you guys as well too. And now for the other front channel speaker, which is the exact same speaker as the one I just opened. So we've opened everything up except for one last thing, and that is the subwoofer. And the subwoofer is seriously huge. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. This very well might be the biggest subwoofer I've ever had, and I know a lot of you out there, especially audiophiles, probably like that subwoofer ain't nothing, but to me, this is a big subwoofer, and I'm very pumped about this. And this subwoofer actually came with its own set of instructions, or actually, should I clarify, it says, speaker precautions. Don't blow the house up with this speaker. I'm just kidding. Try to give you guys a better close-up of this subwoofer. So again, here is the front. This is a beautiful speaker. And here's the back. You have your input, your subwoofer volume dial, and your electrical plug. So there you have it everyone. That's the unboxing of the Onkyo HTS 9800THX. Now if you'd like another video to learn a little bit more about the system, whether it is to see how I mount it, to see how it looks installed, or to get my opinion about it, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. And if enough of you are jumping and hollering, I'll gladly put together a second video. Now I have a lot of work to do to get this thing installed into my new home theater system. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, happy unboxing.